Welcome to the Chicago Art Department, CAD TV, uh, Visiting Artist Series. Uh, I'm Nathan Peck, and I'm here today in the studio with my guest, Hans Brader. What, what, prim what primary medias were you uh, specifically well, I trained in? Well, I trained in everything from the first, one of the earliest things were copying Rembrandt. I also was trained to uh, copy Persian miniatures by, I was an apprentice of a very well known artist. And this is an interesting story. I mean, it's uh, years later, maybe 10 years later, I come to a gallery in Germany and I look at the wall of the gallery and there is this Persian miniature, which I had actually uh, uh, copied as a 19 year old and was sold as an original. And up, up to this point, I mean, the guy was a real gangster, obviously. So he's a well-known artist in Germany. And I, I, I'm, I'm so upset that I didn't buy this my, my own work back because I could never do it again. It yeah. was really convincing, yeah. you know? Yeah. It's, uh, so, <laughs> so I started very traditional, you're still alive, you know, of course, the body, etc. And uh, and when I came to New York, like I said, things changed. And when I came to the University of Iowa, it really was a, yeah, a lot of things are accidents, you know, that somebody uh, saw my work and uh, there was this position and they, they really wanted somebody who was more, a little more experimentally oriented, but had a very traditional academical background. And then, of course, uh, two years later, I, I, uh, in 68, I came in 66, I um, to simply told them, well, if you want to keep me, I want to start an intermediate program. Uh, well, this came about again because I have a slight accent, as you, as you noticed. <laughs> and, uh, but at that time, my accent was even heavier. And so I, I, I wrote uh, this one statement which you have here right. uh, with somebody else and made the presentation to the art faculty and everybody voted. And I, I couldn't understand it. Yeah. And, and later I found out that they had understood that I wanted to introduce into a class in media of uh, intermediate drawing. Mm -hmm. And they didn't know that I was introducing a performance course. Right. And so it's really an accident that Intermedia came into being. <laughs> well, this, this so I knew what I was talking about. Right, right. Because at that time it was, and, and these this definitions that, you know, we, we are constantly revising and, 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 and I'm constantly asked what is Intermedia and of course it's, it's uh, always has to be re redefined, you know, right. because it's something you, you cannot define, you know, right. because it's, it's constant flux. And when I started, uh, it, it was about the fusion of the arts. So it was about, you know, uh, bringing film, dancers, theater people, uh, uh, artists, uh, poets, et cetera, et cetera, together and create, uh, you know, intermedia works. And, uh, uh, and at the time, I didn't know that Higgins had used that word. I introduced it in 67, that Higgins had actually used it in 66, okay. which is a word, of course, that Coolidge also used in 18. 30 something and uh, but it's it's uh, Dickens uh, and Dickens has used it before and uh, but that, that's no big deal because I, I think his definition is so different than mine because my notion towards uh, intermediate is really performance based and, uh, well we have one more guest uh, I think joining us here right now so uh, we yeah. will We'll invite them in also. Um, the, uh, uh, if, if you don't mind, I'm going to use some of your words here. Yeah, sure. um, realizing that intermediate considerations constitute an increasingly larger segment of contemporary artistic endeavors, that the present state of an artist, that that the present state of an artist's critical and creative competency is limited usually to a specialized area, and furthermore, that the existing programs of the various academic departments are designed for specialist training, uh, with little or no provisions for interdisciplinary experience. We recommend the creation of a program of supervised media research, the purpose of which will be to expose the participants to technical and aesthetic considerations of various arts to provoke creative work and experimentation and to stimulate speculative work on a scholarly, theoretical, and aesthetic level. Uh, so you wrote this in, in 1968 to, to, mm -hmm. to propose yeah. the Intermedia program right. at the, at the right. University of Iowa. Yes, and also that some of this is just part of, of obviously, uh, more writing. Right. And we introduced, uh, we staged a major Intermedia event and we meaning uh, Ted Perry, a filmmaker, and, and myself, 
and uh, and uh, we received uh, half a million dollar Rockefeller money for that, and that made me stay longer. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> because I wanted to spend it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, through the intermediate programs, purpose and motivation is interdisciplinary in nature. Although, uh, excuse me, let me just start over. Although the intermediate programs, purpose and motivation is interdisciplinary in nature, it is clear that strict intermediate activity can neither be imposed nor administrated. This will only result in false, forced art. The intermediate programs experience is that the nature of the arts and technologies uh, today creates their own types of interdisciplinary structures, both material and aesthetic, and that the artists involved will and do respond to this condition. It is by design then that no overall intermediate style or philosophy is created. By insisting upon an artistic orientation rather than an art-oriented program, the individual artist's special creative insights are continually stressed and challenged. Um, so, so how do you how do you personally believe that you implemented these ideas over okay. the past 30 well, years? Well, as you experienced yourself, I uh, just talking about uh, how that actually worked within uh, the setting of, of a classroom, in quote, uh, which I have great questions about. I don't think you really, the walls should be more taken down. And, and, but, uh, uh, well, what I was trying to do relate to each individual, depending where they're coming from, if they are composers, or, that, or if they were poets, or filmmakers, or artists, you know, I would find out what their background was, and then create this psychological space around each individual, and, 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 and so it was more the apprenticeship uh, style that I used, which came, again, through my European uh, uh, upbringing and education, and um, that was one thing. Also, uh, in terms of shifts, when I came, I mentioned the merging or, or fusion of the arts. And, and later on, by the mid-70s, I was crossing over into the so-called sciences. Mm -hmm. And I say so-called sciences, you know, because I think art is a science too. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, uh, so I worked with anthropologists naturally because they deal with uh, 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 when the, the, the ritual and performance are certainly related. Mm -hmm. and, it was a very strong element in, in terms of what you experienced, I believe. And, uh, and then com comparative literature was very close. Uh, this later religion and any other discipline almost, you know, uh, uh, particularly theory, how to make theory part of, uh, I mean, integrated uh, in, uh, uh, and so on. So th these are crossovers and uh, basically you could, uh, that's, that's, a word that comes up a lot these days, but uh, we used it earlier on, words like hybrids, crossover. The other word that I use, uh, and, and that's, uh, I think, unique about, about uh, uh, my work and as, as a program uh, is was, because in 2000 I left, and now it's something else, okay? So I think of the 30 years of intermediate Iowa as a piece of, of duration. I think of it as a, as a piece in time and that's this uh, and, and if I wouldn't think about it that way uh, I wouldn't know 